It was at this house in the western part of Howard County where Tanner Barton was hanging out with friends back in 2012. According to this coroner's report, it was just after two in the morning when Tanner collapsed and died. Tanner's mom, Michelle Barton, still can't believe her son is gone. It's heart wrenching. He, um, it's hard. You know, I'm angry. I'm so angry he's here because he was a fabulous kid. You know, he, sh he shouldn't be here. Michelle believes Tanner's friends who were with him that April night know more than what they're saying, including a friend who told police she saw Tanner collapse, checked his pulse, and thought he was snoring, so she went to sleep. About six hours later, she found him dead at the age of 19. She knew something was up. Something was wrong with Tanner. You don't need to, you, you wouldn't check somebody's pulse if you didn't think that something was wrong with them. And 911 was not called immediately. Autopsy reports show Tanner had THC and alcohol in his system, but he wasn't legally drunk. The coroner could not find what caused Tanner's sudden collapse and death, only that he was positioned in a way that cut off his air supply. Michelle wants more toxicology tests. Now if we have to exhume Tanner, mm, that's a hard one, but um, I do believe that it we need to do it. Tanner's case has captured the attention of many, including the group Families of Homicide Victims and Missing Persons, based in Colorado. What stands out about Tanner's case is that there are, you know, many people involved. Um, there, you know, there's a, a lot of inconsistencies throughout the, the case and the files. Tanner would have been 25 years old next month. His grave site shows just how much he loved the 4th of July. He just always, always thought when he was little, oh, everybody's celebrating my birthday, mommy, look. And the fireworks were going off. We're like, it's all for you, Tanner. It's all for you. But this year and every year, there won't be any celebration until there's justice for Tanner. The Howard County Sheriff declined to be interviewed on camera, but says they are looking for leads, especially those with factual evidence. He says anyone with information should call their office at 765-456-2031. Reporting from Howard County, Kara Kenny, RTV6. Uh, supporters will be holding a benefit ride tomorrow tomorrow at the Milwaukee Iron Clubhouse on East Monroe Street in Kokomo. Registration begins at noon with the ride starting at 1. Money raised goes to support unsolved and missing persons cases.